Okay, welcome back, guys. Today we are going to continue our design of the first country structure. From let's run analysis from what we stop. So while we wait for the analysis to come, let's check the 3D. Okay. Takes a little time for the it's already shown. So zero error, zero warning, and one note. So let's see the output file or let's check the post processing. So you can see your reactions. Select your text cursor, bring them out. Um, this everything you need to see. Even see this, use it. Then you can check your types of load, whether dead load or live load. Live load, load come to that column. Okay. So let's go back to the design now. There are two ways of designing concrete. I'm going to show you the two ways in this video. So this is the first way. Come to design. Then what are we designing that? We're designing it as concrete. So click concrete. Then you're using BS8007. So I just need a few parameters. Um, I need the clear, bring it out. I need the compressive strength of concrete, bring it out. And I need the strength of steel, bring it out. So okay. Then you define these parameters. Clear. I want it to be 0.25, that's 25 mm cover. My FCU, I want it to be this. Then FY main, I want it to be this. Okay? So you assign everything to the ones you want. My cover, I want it to be all the elements. Slab, beam, and column. Assign to view. This one to, to view. Then this one also to view. Then next, I'm going to define command. I'm going to design beam. I'm going to design column. I'm going to design slab and I need take off. So let me check the view. Let this view. So what are these? My beams. I could select all my beams. Select members. Come to select members. Parallel to X. Parallel to Z. So these are your members. You can see it. See your members. So assign selected beams. Yes. So columns, I put select members in the parallel to Y. So parallel to Y column. Assign to selected beams. Yeah. Then design element. I put select it to plate. So you can choose plate. Select plate parallel to XZ beam. So assign selected plate. Assign. Okay. So we run our analysis now. See. So it takes a little while for it to load. Okay, it's ready. So zero error, zero one in one note. Okay, so let's find okay. So this is the concrete design. So this is for our beams, it's showing us what we need for our beams. This is your beam results. Provide shelling to the shelling. So let's go to colon. So this should be your colon. So this is where you need your result for your colon. So let's go to slab. So this is for slab. Sorry. This is for your slab. You need this. This is your result for your slab. It's telling you to provide Y12 at 200 center to center. Area of steel required 419 and area of steel provided. This is it. So this is serviceability limit states. So you are basically done with this design, you print it out and detail it. Or you can come to this method of de de designing. You come to come. So it takes time. Sorry. Concrete design. It takes time to open. Okay. This is it. Now, the first thing we do in concrete design is you can even put your job in for you. So that doesn't really matter. Then the next thing you do is to create your envelope. So create a new envelope. So let's name it tutorial. Yes. Tutorial. Okay. So it generates all the loading combinations into it. Okay. The next thing you do is to form members. So members. Auto form members. So it forms members. Now, the forming of member, you choose the member cursor. So have you seen it forms the beam as one as continuous? But when you choose single member, it picks it one by one. And I don't want it to design it like that, so I have to form members. So the next thing I do is to form slab. So let me think the view for slab. So, slab. Form slab. So that's form the slab. 
have you seen? So the total thickness is 175mm, so 17.5 cm. Okay. Then this is the total area, net area, then gross area. So what else do I do? I brief them. So new brief. So then design beam. So design code, I'm using PS8110. Design type is a beam, so I'll choose beam. Okay. So cover, I want it to be 30. Let me leave the cover as 30. Then FCU, let me use 30. Then main reinforcement. Minimum, I want it to be 16. Maximum, 20, 25. The link anger size, let me leave it as 10. 10. Let me leave it as 10. Sorry, maximum, let me say 25. 16. So, user grid, let me use 14. 14. So, shared, okay. 10. 410. So, basically, okay. So, you can select your, select your model, select members. Sorry. Okay. Choose your, um, this is one member. This is another one. So, these are all your beams. So, you can new design group. Name it beam design group. So, choose it beam. Okay. So, the next thing you do is to create design group for colon. So, give it colon. Okay, BS8110. Okay, so I'm using FCU. Let me use 30. Okay, cover. Let me use 40 for the cover. Then, user grid. I want to use 410. 410. Okay, minimum size. I want to be 16. Maximum, I want to be 25. Then, okay, column factor. I want to be braced in the Y direction. You know, braced Y, Y, braced Z, Z. Then, Member load cases you generate all this, okay? So you okay it then come here and select your column. So make sure you select it like this. Hold controls for multiple selection. Mm -hmm. For multiple selection. And make sure you select something like this. So new design group. Name it column design group. So design brief, give it column. Okay. So if you see here column design, and you see the members on that column and beam. So the next thing you do now is to create slab, slab brief. So come to slab, give it a name. Slab. Okay. So cover, let me leave it as 20, 20, FCU, let me say 30. Okay. Main reinforcement, I want it to be fixed bar size. So, bar size, I want to write 12. 12, sorry. So, um, let me leave it as 12. So, you can get constant spacing, but I want it to be fixed bar size. Okay, let me use this like grade 410. Okay, okay. So, the next thing you do is take your and alight your plates. Come to slab, new design group. So slab design group one slab and for slab one because there's really one slab. Okay. Next thing you do is go to your beam design group, come to concrete member. So the next thing you do is design. So we are designing the beam now. Okay. So your beams, okay, 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 okay. Your beams are working. So you can see your drawings, you can see your drawings, so this is your drawing, you can export them to AutoCAD, whatever file you want, export it. Then you can get your shear reinforcement, so this is your shear reinforcement, it's telling you at 275 mm center to center, so you divide white then, then this is the layout, so this is your shear diagram, so you can move it anywhere to check the shear, you can move it, so this is your shear layout. Then your main reinforcement is telling you at this point you can use two y16 two pieces of y16 then for top bars you can use two y25 so it's giving you different values so this is your layout then you you need you need top reinforcements here at this point you need both top and bottom then i think here yeah, you need mainly bottom reinforcements 
So you need to and put on them. So the doctor for you to provide that everywhere. So we are done with the beam design. Next we go to column design. So these are our column members. What we do next is now design. So you bring out your members design. Okay? So that's what he's saying. Everything is okay, 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 okay. So anything is green because it passed. So let's go to our drain. So this is our column detailing. We can bring it out and export it. This is the result. So this is for the link size, 125 center to center. Then share layout. This is the share diagram for your column. And this is main layout, main reinforcement for your column. So this is the amount you need to bring out. So let's go to slab. Slab design. Okay? I'll continue the slab design in the next video. Thank you.